Well, folks, a lot of people are getting humbled tonight. Drop a thumbs up because coming in at our number 12 spot, our first story is about the moment Jake Paul lost to Tommy Fury. Roll it. To the winner by split decision, Tommy. Oh. What? And everybody's out here shaking tonight. People are dropping German suplexes, and this is actually wild. And listen, man, we even got the homie Deji in the background, kind of just wilding. But at our number 10 spot, this is KSI after Jake Paul versus Tom Fury. Roll it. Hey, yo. Ah. Ah, don't mind me. Just smoking on that Jake Paul pack. <laughs> Honestly, Jake Paul trash. Tommy Fury, trash! <laughs> Bruh. And guys, everybody gather around, okay? Tonight, Jake Paul ended up getting his ass humbled. Does KSI needs to be humbled? Drop a thumbs up if you think so, because let's keep a buck 50 here, guys. I know a lot of people wanted Logan Paul to lose tonight. He did lose, but he fought very well, okay? I mean, respect, I mean, facts are facts, okay? He did fought an actual boxer, and both of them had respect for each other, and KSI out here just shaking. He's doing helicopters with his Willie. His ass needs that handling, okay? Because let's keep a buck 50. KSI has been fighting Call of Duty streamers, face tempers, as, like, boxing opponent. He needs to be fighting, like, real boxers, you know what I'm saying? And this is before that disaster, guys. I would bet my equity in Prime that Jake Paul beats Tommy Fury tonight. We know how that turned out. Oh! Drake also lost $400,000 after betting on Jake Paul. I mean... Die, old kid! Die! Damn, man, even Drake got humble tonight. But right before we get into some gaming news, one of the gaming YouTubers, a Twitch star, a gaming Twitch star, came out, and this is what he has to say. There are only two genders. Giggity, giggity, go! And a lot of people went in bozo. People are not able to compute the fact that, and people are declining the ratio card out here as well. <laughs> I, I gotta save this meme, bro. I'm gonna do it live right now. We're gonna put it on the desktop. Boom. <laughs> and the story here is that Aiden Ross ended up getting banned over on Twitch. And we all know how Twitch is. Twitch favorite Bob's and Vaganas, right? If you don't have Bob's and Vagana, well, you, you get... If you're a man, you are wrong, essentially. If you're not strong, not independent, you get thrown in another dimension. He says that if I had blue hair and makeup with Twitch, have banned me, question mark? Roll it. First thing I'm gonna say is this. I already signed my deal to this. It don't matter. I already locked myself in on kick. Thank God, because I told everyone that kick was out to get me, bro. They were out to get me, they're out to get Kai, they're out to get all these streamers. Mm. All. Every single one of these streamers, bro. And, you know, I'm gonna just tell you guys right now, bro. Um, I'm not even gonna bash Twitch completely. But the one thing I'll say is this. If I had blue hair and did my makeup, would you abandon me, Twitch? It's a serious question. Would you apparently ban me? If I had blue hair and did my makeup and fingernails, would you have permanently ban me, bro? No, they wouldn't have. Listen, I'm permanently banned on Twitch. It's done, it's already done. But I got permanently banned for no reason. At all. No reason. How do you ban someone on Twitch? And my reasoning is for VOD slash on stream when I haven't even been streaming there. This is exactly why everyone needs to see Twitch for what it is. Mm. But speaking of some gaming, uh, this is a brand new game that is actually looking really, really good. I did tweet about this game. It's a UFO horror survival and roll it. Let's check this out. Daily. Trying to get inside my house. Several oh, damn, bro. Disappeared. Don't ever tell anything to the police. Someone if you're into UFO content, I have a second channel by the name of Scary X. Definitely check that out after that. But man, this game is looking good. Oh, what does she have on her head? You don't think that they, um, what? Probe us when we become a. I don't know, man. I'm trying not to think about that right now. Dang. Listen, Ryan, you have to get as much yeah, tin oil as you yeah, can. Dang. My guy's looking like, oh, Nani. Oh, in addition, you can sleep better at oh, night if you remember that a neighbor is patrolling outside. Good luck, Ryan. I'm 
I'm waiting. And it's called Grey Hill Incident. It's coming out on June 9, 2023. Also, shout out to the homie Ellie for adding me in the situation. The homie Crony says that no, the game will fail and be over. <laughs> Overshadowed by Spider-Man 2 and you're probably sitting back and you're probably wondering, yo, Skilla, what game are we talking about? Can a brother perhaps uh, first uh, find out what game is that so I can actually start making dots? Absolutely, okay, because we are talking about Starfield VR Henda, its showcase is rumored to be announced next week. Are you excited for Starfield or not? This game is going to be coming out on Xbox and PC because uh, Microsoft did buy Bethesda. Initially, they did say that some of the games will be on the Sony ponies, but then they kind of said, that, no, man, we're not going to give it to the Sony ponies. And surely PlayStation got Insomniac, so they're not going to let Spider-Man 2 be out on Xbox. I mean, damn, man. Gamers are always done absolutely dirty. A lot of the homies are actually shaking. People are doing helicopters with their woolies in the chat, and uh, everybody seems to be kind of hyped for this game. Even I'm kind of looking forward to it. 1,000 planets. I mean, let's uh, hope that there is uh, that content. Boot! PlayStation Summer Showcase to set up that second phase. All PS5 announcements. Time to start getting our hopes up. And that's right, guys. Uh, get your hopes up. Get it, get it up, okay? Bruh. Get that up. I mean, I mean, I'm not talking about getting that thing up, but get your hopes up, ladies and gentlemen. And it's always about that, right? You get your hopes up, and then you lower them down instantly when you get disappointed, okay? Because surely we're talking about gaming here, ladies and gentlemen. Are we going to be having, like, those... Uh, mobile games are we gonna be seeing those microtransactions games i don't know guys but a lot of people are shaking and this news is coming from jeff grubb who previously did leak the fact that we're gonna be having a sony pony state of play that's gonna be low dopamine it's gonna be shiza it's gonna be a massive l and we saw that it was a massive l they did reveal that game justice league i cannot say that game name on youtube apparently because yep my stream that had that game title it was hit and uh, it almost got sent to youtube heaven but i told youtube it's a game i'm not telling people to be sent to heaven because it has that uh, heaven proposal squad kind of you, you probably know what I'm talking about I know it's a bra moment guys but uh, he did say that that state of play will be low dopamine but apparently we're hearing that Sony is saving the actual good stuff for this big event and let's be real whenever this showcase happens we're hearing that it's gonna be happening right around E3 maybe a little bit before maybe a little bit after I kind of hope that it happens a little bit earlier than that and whenever that happens we're gonna be getting Spider-Man 2 apparently some of the toxic gamers are sending insomnia games those heaven proposals ladies and gentlemen <laughs> they really are sending that's what i'm hearing that people are sending heaven proposals to insomnia games because we haven't had any official gameplay for spider-man 2 yet and the game is coming out this year so we're likely going to be getting spider-man 2 during the showcase maybe even wolverine some other first party reveals some third party reveals and a lot of people are saying that hey gta 6 reveal finally here's hoping that metal gear rising remaster come on black Dog 2. my guy i do hope you get something for gta PSX, but let's be real uh, it, it, we're, we're probably gonna be 80 years old before that happens though we also ended up getting rumors from charlie until that call of duty 2024 is codenamed cerebrus and that game is in development for last gen ps4 and xbox one and a lot of people got mad. People are angry. People are mad. And I made a dedicated video just earlier today. So definitely check that out. There was a lot more in that video. But yeah, we are hand that. It's going to be on last gen uh, PS4, the jet engine, and the Xbox One VCRs. Damn it. And you know, there are a lot of things Call of Duty afraid of. Uh, for example, this one, whenever the homies uh, show Infinity Ward that minimap, this is how Infinity Ward are looking like. But they are certainly not afraid of this beautiful skin, right? Got them rabbit ear. Got that big black man with those sunglasses looking looking kind of eyed and looking at the tablet and uh hey, 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 hey. and he has that family family unity Man, they are very strong and independent. 3,000 Call of Duty devs uh, putting their creativity to use, ladies and gentlemen. That's that's what I'm talking about. Content, ladies and gentlemen. Content. But, however, Hogwarts Legacy already has a working co-op mode with up to 10 players. This is essentially the multiplayer mod that we are getting. Uh, an independent gamer is making that. And essentially, I, I will be having a dedicated video on that very, very soon. I should have had that two, three days ago. But I had to stream last night. And there were a bunch of other stuff. And surely we ended up getting this family friendly pack uh, from Infinity Ward. So I was kind of busy, right? You see, I was kind of busy covering that news for the for the toxic gamers. But we're getting a multiplayer mod in Hogwarts Legacy. Sadly, it is not the official deal. I really hope one day we get the Quidditch DLC and the multiplayer for real, for real. If it's not going to be in Hogwarts Legacy, hopefully in Hogwarts Legacy 2. Bruh. We also have the homie Tom Henderson says that exclusive Ubi Snooze, uh, Ubi Caps or Ubisoft is going all in on Assassin's Creed with four more games already planned. I 
I mean, damn, bro. Don't they already have like four or five Assassin's Creed game coming out that they already announced? And, and now they're saying that they got four more. I mean, I just cannot compute this, ladies and gentlemen. Ubicaps be going quadring style on them, on them streets, sorry. <laughs> on them streets but listen assassin's creed is actually good and the, the new assassin's creed that they revealed is kind of looking good obviously time will tell us for sure is that gonna be a banger is that gonna be a snoozer uh time will tell us for sure but uh that's what's happening and guys uh i do apologize in advance before we get into that number two spot you might have to run real quick and wash your eyes after seeing that because this is what happened to me want to play some co-op guys here is your controller But click on this video on the screen, we got the next Black Ops 2 Remake League, or click the video on the left, we got free games and that GTSX tech demo as well. Check these videos out guys, and I will see you right there.